Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fozi Yezen Al held joint talks with the President of the European Parliament, Roberta Metzola, during which they discussed launching a new phase of cooperation and coordination, and it was agreed to create joint working mechanisms based on understanding, dialogue, trust, and mutual respect. Zain Al affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, adopts civilized practices such as a dialogue as a constant and firm approach, whether at the local or international levels. She stressed the importance of respecting the sovereignty of states, non-interference in their internal affairs, spreading the values of peace, and striving to establish security and stability in the world. She affirmed that Bahrain is witnessing steady progress in the field of human rights, whether at the level of the legislative or institutional structures. Zainal expressed the need to expedite the pace of parliamentary communication between Bahrain and the European Parliament and stressed the need to establish a new phase of cooperation between the two sides. She affirmed her aspiration to consider the request submitted by the Kingdom of Bahrain to exempt Bahrainis from the Schengen visa and to place it on the European Parliament's agenda to enhance the bilateral relations. She presented an official invitation to the President of the European Parliament to visit the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Spanish Minister of Foreign Affairs, the European Union and Cooperation, Jose Manuel Alvarez. They discussed the historical friendly relations between the two countries and means to promote bilateral cooperation in various fields to serve mutual interests. The two sides also discussed developments in the regional and international political and security situations and efforts to establish security and peace in Europe and the Middle East. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the killing of Palestinian journalist Shireen Abu Aqla, which took place near the Janin refugee camp in the Palestinian territories while she was on duty as it is a violation of the rules and principles of the international humanitarian law. The Ministry expresses sincere sympathy and condolences of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the brotherly Palestinian people, the family of the victim and to the Arab journalist, wishing a speedy recovery to journalist Ali Samoudi. It also demands an immediate comprehensive investigation of the crime and to bring perpetrators to justice. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, met with the Council of the International Civil Aviation Organization President, Salvatore Chikatino, and the Middle East ICA Regional Director, Mohammed Abu Bakr. They reviewed ways of enhancing international and regional cooperation with organizations concerned with the field of civil aviation. The meeting discussed ways to enhance civil aviation at the Ministry and ICAO to enhance aviation safety and exchange experiences. The Minister praised the organization's interest to support the strategy of the Ministry to achieve the Kingdom's 2030 vision and sustainable development goals through projects to modernize and develop the infrastructure of the aviation sector. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's strong condemnation of the cowardly terrorist attack, which targeted a security station in North Sinai in Egypt and led to the death and injury of a number of soldiers. The Ministry affirmed the firm position of Bahrain in its solidarity with Egypt and its war against terrorism and its full support for all the measures it takes to preserve its security, stability and the safety of its citizens. It expressed its sincere condolences and sympathy to the Egyptian government and its people, the families of the martyrs, and wished a speedy recovery to all the injured. The ministry renewed its call for to the need to intensify and combine international efforts to eliminate extremist terrorist organizations and dry up their sources of funding. The Kingdom of Bahrain is joining other GCC countries with electronic visa waiver status, enabling smooth transit through the UK border for visitors. An electronic visa waiver allows the holder to travel to the UK without obtaining a visa, provided they complete an online waiver for each visit. And to speak more about that, we were joined over the phone by the British Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Roddy Drummond, who elaborated further on the matter. Um, I think it's very exciting news. It starts from the 1st of June, and uh, we hope that this will make it much uh, more flexible and, uh, and cheaper and easier for Bahraini nationals to travel to the UK. So people will be able to travel um, by just getting a, a visa waiver online, apply at least 48 hours before you travel, you'll get an answer in 24 hours, um, and it will be um, very inexpensive, around £30 per visit uh, per person.